The Leopard 1 tanks that are being transferred to Ukraine were decommissioned by European countries in the 1980s and have been in open-air storage for a long time. So the vehicles are in poor condition and must undergo major repairs before they can be returned to service. The tanks reportedly played a key role in Kyiv's highly anticipated counteroffensive, providing close combat support and protecting soldiers from Russian attacks. Recently, Ukraine has showcased its newly upgraded Leopard 1A 5V tanks, marking the first public demonstration of these modernized Cold War era machines. The upgraded tanks, now part of the Ukrainian Armed Forces 5th Separate Tank Brigade, were displayed in photos and videos shared by the Ukrainian military. The tanks have been fitted with additional armor and protective screens to counter the growing threat of enemy FPV drones on the battlefield. The enhancements include explosive reactive armor covering the entire frontal projection of the vehicle, including the lower frontal plate, turret, and side hull. The turret hull connection, a vulnerable point, has also received extra protection. According to Defense Express, a key feature of the upgrade is a comprehensive mesh screen system, designed to reduce the effectiveness of enemy drones during combat. These defenses offer an added layer of security for the crew, who face increasing challenges from advanced unmanned aerial systems used by Russian forces, recall, the Leopard 1 was the first tank that Germany built after the Second World War. The tank expert highlighted numerous factors that have contributed to the Leopard's renowned reliability. Later versions of the tank received more levels of armor protection resulting in a boxy-shaped turret and an angular arrow pointed on some of the later models. It is perhaps the continual upgrading program for German-manufactured Leopards that gives them an edge in terms of sustainability compared to the British Challenger II. The sound of broken brick and glass could be heard underfoot as Ukraine Special, White Angel, police officers walked through a destroyed church in Donetsk on Tuesday. The blue, gold and red hues of the church's decorative paintings were set against rubble on the ground. The church was built more than 110 years ago, Gennady Yudin, the major of the special police unit said, walking through the debris in Novo Ekonomik, a small village a few kilometers from the front line in eastern Ukraine. The dome was completely destroyed and several icons of Jesus Christ left in ruins. Locals are saying that this church survived the Second World War, but was destroyed by the Russian army, Yudin said. Russian forces destroyed the church with aerial bombardment on July 8 according to Ukrainian officials. Yudin added that a church in his native city of Avdiivka was also destroyed earlier in the war. Elsewhere in Donetsk, in Mernohrad, a multi-store building lay in ruins on Tuesday. Вітчизняної війни вціліла, а зараз от російські війська повністю зруйнували.
было то же самое.